Who would have imagined, you know, even Apple and Google, when they created iOS and Android, would, wouldn't have imagined a business like Uber or Airbnb or all the food delivery apps. These would have been built. But how did they get built? That was the creativity of the developer ecosystem. Now, to enable the developer ecosystem is our mission and goal. If you see on the slides there, that's what Zbyte and Zblocks are up to. We want to create that platform so that it becomes very easy for all the creators, the developers and creators, to leverage that platform and let the creative juices flow and created businesses like what got built on Android and iOS. That's what we are looking to do. Right. On the consensus part, um, we spoke about centralization and all the data with a few large corporates across the globe, making some of the corporates more powerful even than governments and nations. That's the consensus part, right? Where in a blockchain, the data sits on various nodes, and how the data is accessed or changed or anything with that can be only be done with the consensus mechanism of the whole blockchain network. The blockchain could have 50 nodes or 5,000 nodes. That has impact on security, speed. I mean, those are other technical issues to be sorted out. But basically, it is consensus driven. The network, and you can set up the network rules, OK, 51% of the people and how they vote. And there are various complications there. But the centralization aspect is taking care of consensus. Unless there is consensus on how data is accessed, changed, or even uh, it's written on the chain, nothing will happen. It's completely consensus driven. Yeah, and that's where technologies like Algorand, where they make all those things happen in microseconds, milliseconds, you know, across very large chains. I mean, I'm talking real basics of blockchain, but that's a very, very important part of, uh, uh, of democratizing data. Yeah. Even yeah. OpenAI, once that got published, maybe a few months back or around a year back, that's when AI really picked up. Otherwise, AI has been there. I've been working on AI for years in memorial, but very, Specific use cases, the most visible one to the world is the autonomous driving car. A lot of it being talked, but there's so much happening, but it was very, very difficult. NVIDIA has been working on this with CUDA and other, this thing, but the mass adoption is happening once a nice platform like OpenAI, which got published, and there are a few others which are coming up, that got published, and that's where you see a lot of enterprises and developers saying, hey, I build on AI, or I'm using AI. And, um, that's what we are trying to, that kind of a platform is what we are making available to the world using, um, uh, using technologies which people are very familiar with to build and adopt Web3. Right, so one of the problems which, you know, this platform solves is how does blockchain talk to the, or Web3 talk to the real world? Real world and enterprise would be on Office 365, they'll be on SAP, Oracle, all kinds of CRMs, your sales forces, your HubSpots and all. And, and blockchain actually is very different technically there. So how do these two worlds talk? So we have a whole bunch of connectors which are built in, which are part of the platform, which you just take. And if you are, for example, uh, you know, I was discussing with Jacob today, if you want to figure out what is the carbon your executives generate when they take flights and car rentals and other things uh, in an expense management system, how do you calculate for a year how much carbon did all the travel which the executives did, how, how did that, that account for it? It's very simple, on, on using a platform, just take a connector, connect to whatever financial system you are in. Uh, uh, a service provider could just walk through all the flight tickets which are recorded there, figure out what destinations, okay, London to Paris, this was the aircraft use, this is the carbon it emits, put it all together immutably on a, on a, on a blockchain so that when you get your carbon audits done, that's all available. So this is just to give an example of how easy it becomes. Otherwise, doing this on Web3 would have taken a very, very long time. 